one of which is in the arrange data. This is extreme battle mode. It's really not as extreme as it sounds. So there's three levels. I haven't I've done level one and two because they're required to unlock hidden characters, so I only did that. But for this playtest, I'm just doing it for level one, and I'm only doing it just to show the game off. That's it. I don't really care. If I die, I'm just gonna quit and be like, there you go. You get the gist of it. But yeah, that's it. So they put you on the screen and you start with the characters of Leon and Claire. Personally, if you want my choice, Claire is the better of the two. Because Leon Harry has to carry around three guns and as a result three types of ammo. Which, if you think about that, that's six slots versus Claire only having to deal with three slots because she has three types of ammo and one gun. One of the types of ammo is always going to be in that gun which ultimately just makes her way better. So, I say if you're gonna use anyone, use Claire more than you would Leon. And what your reward is for clearing level one with either character is you get Ada. She has the submachine gun, what looks like the, yeah, no, M-A, hmm, so wait. Whatever, she's got those. The bow gun being the thing. Because I'm looking at Chris's gun, which I think is the coolest fucking thing ever. The idea that they put Chris in this game. Honestly, that, that he's your reward for clearing level 2. I think it's a damn good reward. Because Okay, Colt SAA. I was looking at the MC11, and that's why I wasn't sure, because I was getting confused there. But yeah, no, she has the exact same gun as Claire's alternate outfit, which is the quick-drawing cowboy pistol. So, there's that for your reward. And then Chris gets himself an upgraded rifle, a custom handgun, which is semi-automatic, a rocket launcher that holds five rockets as his weapons of choice. Now, considering we have played as Claire and shown off her story, we've played as Leon and shown off as his, we got to play as Ada during some points of the game, so we got to show off her. I say we go with Chris. We're gonna go ahead and do that, mostly because new weapon, mostly, well, partly because new weapon, mostly because Chris, so. I'm not gonna lie, I skipped that cutscene so much that I actually started freaking out thinking something was wrong with my capture card. Now, um, I've never done this before as Chris, ever. So, we'll see how well I do. But, the goal for this part right here that I'm currently in is to just make it to the little train and survive. This is by no means an easy feat. I can and probably will end up dying, which means I probably I'm hoping to at least get to the police station. I'm not honestly a fan of the way they set up this story and dialogue it because it just feels super awkward reading it. Like they say things that no normal person would say, and it just feels exaggerated. Oh well, you looked like something else. Stop. All right, see this is already a bad start. What they do is they set you up in a room, each room usually is different, it actually has a chance of random number generation, but most of the times I've done this, that room has always been filled with zombies, but the rest of it seems to vary. So that's just it, is they put you in this environment, hit the copy and paste button with the enemies, add a random number generator on top of that, 
And that's usually filled with zombies too, and usually I don't get hit. But this game just doesn't like me currently. And then you, you have fun. Good luck living. It's pretty much it. Chris luckily doesn't take. Oh, okay, those are zombies. There we go. Dodge a little bit of that, and we're good. There's a high chance of being zombies too. Mostly it's just zombies in this intro. This room right here is most likely prone to switch. Yeah, currently it's dogs, but on other times I've had it be zombies before as well. So that's kind of how I know it's. I also tried doing it with Leon, thinking that's how you unlocked um, Chris, because I was like, okay, well I got, I played as Claire and unlocked Ada, so maybe if I play as Leon, I'll unlock Chris, and that was wrong, which annoys me because it was really stressful playing as Leon because he's crap. So I eventually just looked it up and then found out you had to beat on level two, which is really misleading. And if they would stop it, God. I understand I have weapons, but it's very l unlikely that you're actually going to get enough ammo or anything to even defend yourself. Also, most of the time, I usually finish that in about two minutes, so that's pretty below average, but so be it. Um, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of this too much. For it being an extreme battle, it's just kind of like, meh. But, I mean, like, I appreciate the idea that they did something, really. That's kind of mostly what it is. It's like, oh, I appreciate that you um, cared enough about us players to try and put in a new feature for us to enjoy. That's very kind of you. See, now that I have some ammo, I'm actually probably going to defend myself. And maybe, eh, I kind of want to save. Kind of. But at the most part, it's like, well, if I die, what the hell does it matter? You know? Because that was the point, was if I die, I die. My goal is at least to get to the precinct and hopefully pick up a bomb. I still advise to try and save your ammo as best as you possibly can because uh, when you get to the police station you should have at least enough to stand your own ground but getting there is really the hardest part as weird as that sounds oh hi this also has the chance to hold a certain trench coat monster inside of that room and I want to say zombies can also appear in that room too. Zombies? Eh, I don't know. It's it's usually always ravens in this room. I want to say there was an instance where that was untrue. But yeah, no, obviously random number generator. I can skip that cutscene. That's great. Oh god, I hate these guys. I just realized Chris doesn't have a blue herb. Oh, that's so crap. Oh, that's so crap. Get off of me! I'm poisoned, aren't I? Okay, good. Well, he's got a rocket launcher, so it's probably the logic behind it. I wonder if I can do something to a certain someone now, thinking about it. Hmm, I might do it. Alright, and this is like the pretty much closest thing you'll ever get to health in this area, ever. That's like the only health you'll ever get, and then the rest is just, hey, deal with it. Right now, the biggest disadvantage Chris has is the idea that he has the rocket launcher, because it takes two spaces. But after you use it up, then you're pretty much good with just a handgun and a shotgun, or at least you should be by, you know, logic standpoint. Dogs? I thought so too. Hi dog, leave me alone please, I don't want to pet you. No, I'm Chris. <laughs> and it's also kind of cool that I'm showing it off as Chris too, because during my Resi 1 LP, I played as Jill. Um, for those of you who don't know, I also did an uncommentated version of Chris. Oh, I can't see with you guys, because, you know, I'm getting feasted on by the undead. But, yeah, no, I have shown off Chris. I know there's some ammo down there, down the hall, if you want to go down there. At least something. But, yeah, no, it's kind of cool, because it's not like, I've covered all grounds. I mean, I kind of, I don't know which one I went the extra mile with. Ow! Something is attacking me. It's a liquor. Please leave me alone. I don't know, because I feel like taking the time to get every single cutscene pretty much in the game for Resi 1 feels like it was a feat in itself, but it's like, this game had bonus episodes, this game has more parts, I don't really know. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, it's just a thought, that's all. 
Oh look, more health. What are the odds of that? And I mean that in a literal sense because like, again, you don't get babied usually. Like, they just say, hey, fuck you. Good luck. But I mean, I'll take it. I guess that gives us a... I mean, I'm not going to intentionally just let myself die. I'm actually going to go ahead and put up a fighting chance. Also, I guess to make note worth, um, I thought the bombs were in preset locations, but as it turns out, that's random number generation as well. Uh, so it's, it's pretty annoying. What? Oh, shit. Oh, I dodged him. That's pretty cool. Leave me alone! I said leave me alone! Thank you. Alright, so, here goes Chris, are you ready to rock? We made it to the police station, that was my goal, and we've stuck to it. Good job for living. <laughs> you got yourself a pat on the back, buddy. I patted my own back there, because I, I, I don't know, I thought about the sound effect. Hello, oh, that's not a nice thing to do to a friend, is it? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Should I shock? Yeah, we'll just shock him. Rest in hell. Why are you still alive? I said, go away. Also, actually, this mode holds a specific kind of liquor you can't find anywhere else in the game. There is a black liquor, which I actually didn't know about until my brother brought it up from a different game. And then I was like, oh, do you mean this thing? And he's like, yeah, that's it. So there's actually a different breed of liquor that I didn't know about that is stronger than regular ones. What I guess that's worth noting. We'll go ahead and shoot this guy. There you go. No, he's still up. Oh, there's more than one of them. Apparently. Hi, I'm Chris. <laughs> Have you heard of me before? I've been in such TV shows as Everybody Hates Chris. That was so rude. I don't have any health. Look, rocket launcher. I don't know, I'm trying to be really wise about the rocket launcher, because it's like, if I only get five shots... Oh, fuck you guys. These animations on the legs look absolutely awful. Just thought I should say that. It feels like those little, um... What are they called? It'd be like a checkerboard pattern and the dots move around. Like, that's what it looks like. I don't really know how good of a description that was, but it, ju it just looks like it's spots just going back and forth. I mean, I've never killed a giant spider before in my life, so I don't really know if that's the way they behave, but, uh... Hey! Well, I just killed the shit out of some dogs. Overkilled the shit out of some dogs, I should say. Oh, look, some shotgun shells. How am I I'm not gonna make it out of here, are you kidding me? Because I know where I am, and I don't think they're gonna give me any health. I'm pretty sure they're not. Give me those shells. Now, what? I don't know, should I do it? No, I shouldn't. Just for safety's sake, I'm not going to. One of the spots is actually back there, where you first run into Sherry as Claire. That's a spot for a bomb to be located. So that's one of the few spots it could end up in. That's what I thought was the predetermined spot, but obviously that's not the case, because I'd look there sometimes and it wouldn't be there. Sometimes the game is just like, hey, you're shit out of luck. Go away, all of you rotten hell, thank you. Oh, he doesn't have a head, that's cool! <laughs> that's a sense. I can still hear zombies. I'm really paranoid about one of them coming back and eating my leg. Maybe I can get a two for one? Hmm, I've got shotgun ammo. Oh, 
There we go. Should I? Should I leave him there? I think he actually might be dead. That's kind of cool. <laughs>